Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents and micro machine collectors, it's your good pal Oz and today we're going to be reviewing uh, micro machines. We've got two kind of to open up. we got the Pack & Co Garage Play Case, which looks cool. And then we've also got the race team, which is like this rad racing car. This is like the coolest looking car I've seen so far, so we wanted to check that out. And just in case, because I don't know what's involved in this play case, we won't know until we open up, but in case it's like not much to talk about <laughs> and we need to fill time i've also got a backup of the construction set as well because i like my videos to be at least 10 minutes long so yeah in case this is a bit basic and there's not much to look at then we'll we've got backups so uh what we're going to do first up is where's my knife no knife but we can use scissors and we'll get the play case open up because we want to do this first that way we can kind of put everything in it all the cars in it as we go here we go there's a little bit of tape there that was easy and get that off piece of cake okay that's looking pretty awesome so what can we see that moves so far oh yeah okay so we've got little boom gates there that looks like it goes down so let's check that out we'll just do one little oh no it looks like we will get onto that there's a elevator here we'll get onto that let's check out the back not much there's a handle on the top hold on i might need to move back a little bit so you can see me there we go so you can see everything in one shot now open how do we open it open <laughs> open i feel there's a trick to this that i am i am not obeying how do we open this Three, two, one. There probably is instruction somewhere I should be looking at. But I, aha, got it. Okay, I don't know if that was right, <laughs> just to use force. We'll find out as we look more into it, if there is like a switch somewhere that I should have been pressing. Uh, we'll look at that next. Let's just get all the cardboard and stuff off. Okay, there we go. Let's get this cut, get this off. You can do it. Why? Why? Why so much cellar tape? Three layers there. Okay. Now I think there was a car there. We'll check that out. Oh, rubber bands, come off. Okay, they got that out. There's more over here. Hopefully they're not stuck. No. Okay, loose. Now let's check out the car that comes with that. So he's upside down for some reason. Hey, here we go. So, very cool. Looks like a Mustang. I, I'm no big car person, but having that little engine out the front and just the shape of it makes me think it's some sort of Mustang. Very cool. Put them up here. There's a some books and paperwork and what do you call them? Uh, checklists. That's the one. We've got a checklist with this one. It's. Uh, let's see if we can find the car we just saw there. Oh right, yeah, here we go. So from the park and go, you get the. Catapo! <laughs> Catapo, it's a weird name. Not what I was expecting. I wonder if these are like their legit like vehicle names or if these are just names made up for the vehicles to avoid like copyrights and stuff like that. Because um, none of these ve these vehicle names do I recognize. Besides like default tow truck, police cruiser, that kind of thing. Anyway, now let's check out this park and go see all its features. Um, I might just take the camera loose. I've never really done this much before, but let's just do a little flyby. So up here looks like there's some sort of kind of cool parking area. Going down a level, same thing there. Well, we've got petrol pumps. Very nice. Let me just put the car next to it just for scale. See what it looks like. Very cool. Now we'll take this car. We'll go on the elevator now. So... I'll just reach around, forgive me for the shaky camera, up we get. Oh, it kind of gets a little bit bumpy going up, uh, but very cool. Now, I can see there's this cool kind of like spirally ramp there. So we'll test out this Catapo um, on there, three, two, one. Ah, oh, perfect, first time, look at that. Okay, cool, and now that down the bottom, so yeah, three more levels, all kind of the same, not joining up with the spiral there, but just good for like laying things on there. And now, how do we open this? I'll go around to the other side. 
This is working out pretty well, me just doing the freeform camera, just carrying it around. It's, it's pretty easy, I should do this more. Um, but I still don't know how to open this. One problem with it is I've only got one hand. Okay, there we go. So it just used a bit of muscle power <laughs> just to like snap that door open. But now that it is open, I'm sure it'll be easier. Um, so there we go, in you get, put down the boom gates. Now the cars can come out. So it looks like, it, so it's kind of like a play set and a display set as well. Helicopter pad up the top. Uh, let's make sure I haven't missed anything out. No, no, that looks cool. Like kind of crane, like kind of construction work things, but nothing else happening there. And I'll show you, we'll put some cars in there just to display them. I'll be pretty rough with it because who really is gentle when <laughs> kind of just putting their toys away. We'll just chuck them in there and we'll see how it works as a display case. I'll put some on both levels. Oh, reaching around. How many have we got? There we go. Chuck as many in, because I don't know how this is gonna work, because when it closes, won't some kind of get squashed? Okay, now let's do it. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it was looking good, but yeah, look, now the ones at the bottom are getting crushed. So how does, so maybe you don't display them, maybe if we put everything at the top, let's see how that works. Okay, that's good, that's better. Uh, they're moving around, but nothing's really escaping. Um, okay, we've got the boom gates down, let's open the top up, we don't, I mean lift up the ramp down here. We don't want cars coming out. Now we'll practice what it's like to travel with it in case we're going over to our pal's friend, pal's house with all of our toys, all of our micro machines. Okay, nothing's coming out. It seems pretty well contained. It's got that kind of like that clear wall there. So, uh, nice. That purple car might fall out, but that's because I put them on the wrong level. So, uh, yeah, that, that's a, oh, oh, we're losing cars now. Nope, I think all as well. I still think that guy at, who fell out was, because there's no way they can, because of that clear wall. So I think that grey car that just fell out, he must have been one that was put in the wrong place to begin with. So let me just show you once again, in case you missed it, that if you are storing your toys, or your micro machines I should say, put them on this level, that way you can still close it and it's all good. But if you're just doing it as like a, like a play set to play, then you can put them wherever, who knows. Uh, Okay, now, so that is the park and go, which is actually really cool. I'm I'm, I like it, because it's not just a display case. You can also, um, oh, forgive me, I'm just gonna put you back in there. Uh, you can also use it as a carry case. Now, why is everything blurry? Hey, come back, there we go. It is better, okay. Now, next up we're gonna do the, now, next up we're gonna do the race team. I think we have plenty of time, so I'm gonna show you the construction set as well. Why not, let's just get into it. Now, first up, let's open the box. Not much to see here, just shows you different play sets you can get. Um, now, let's cut it. Let me know in the comments below if you like these sets so far, like if you are into micro machines, if you have any so far, um, let me know because like in the, in the 80s and the 90s I think, because oh, even up to like the year 2000, micro machines was like one of the, the biggest kind of toys around. Um, if you had, you either had matchbox cars or micro machine collections um, and everyone had, like every household had at least a few micro machines. Whereas um, nowadays it's like a new toy, so not many people have them. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any micro machines, um, because yeah, I'd love to see these kind of take off again like they did back in back in the 80s or 90s. Yeah, 90s, I wasn't so much around in the 80s, but in the 90s, uh, these were everywhere. So I want that to happen again. Now we'll put him there. Now well, here's a fast car, this is called nothing. Oh, GT7, GT7. Okay, they got little bits of plastic. I just got to pull out somehow. There we go. Okay, so he is amazing. Look at kind of like metallic and shiny is. He's got that little seven on the front there. Looking cool. We'll drive him a little bit. Let's just let me just change the camera again. You guys are used to seeing all of the camera actions today. 
But yeah, yeah, rolls really smoothly, really nice. So this is from the race series, of course. So he's meant to be like a racing car. We'll compare him to some of the other kind of racing sports cars we got. Very, very nice. Actually, this is one from the uh, 90s. I probably shouldn't be comparing them. Oh, the fastest one I had. This was the coolest one like, that existed back in the 80s and 90s, the Lamborghini Contage. <laughs> Whereas this is the G7. I'm sure in real life he'll be way faster now than this guy was because, of course, it's been 20 years since then. But uh, still very cool. Now, let's check out also. This is the um, carry truck. I don't know if that's his official name, but uh, it's <laughs> what carries the uh, the sports racing car. Does it have any movements? It just has that kind of pivot in the middle there. We'll, we'll kind of test it out, just like a normal trailer. It kind of just follows behind the main vehicle. Very nice. Now let's see what these are meant to do. Like, are you meant to store the vehicles on their side? <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm assuming. Here we go. So see underneath there's like uh, two big slots on either side. I'd say that's where they go. Look at that. Awesome. Easy. Easy peasy. Back him up. Very cool. I'll just show you a close up too of him on there. Nice. Okay, so that is the race set. I just want to see if other vehicles can go in there too. If they all have. Yeah, they do. They all have that kind of gap on the side there. Nice! Now you can kind of tow anything. The original ones don't. I don't even need to check. I, I, I know well enough how they look. Let's try different vehicles. Let's try one which is not a sports car. Let's try the track, the, the, the old kind of, I don't know what you call it, pickup truck. He might! Wow! Okay, cool! So he can just tow anything. I was not expecting other types of vehicles to be able to. Okay, tractor. Tractor won't work. You could probably see that one coming. Uh, what about this this big monstrosity? Nothing happening at the bottom there. <laughs> you can still tow it, it just doesn't stay on so well. Okay, anyway, let's put him back on there. And let's open the construction set. A bonus for you guys for staying around right to the end of the video. Let's check out some extra, whoa, extra uh, micro machines. Now also, I haven't seen it for this video, but a big thank you from the people at uh, Big Balloon. Where's Big Balloon? There it is. There, Big Balloon for sending all these micro machines to review. Uh, it is so exciting to see that they're back again. And I really, I really hope this range takes off. Just because it'll give me a reason to uh, <laughs> get more myself, because I, I do really enjoy them. And it's just so cool having them back. Okay, now. Pull, pull, pull. Okay, now. Let's get, oh that was, that was easy, okay. Getting the, the plastic of these can be a bit of a pain. Um, this one's got a rubber band on it just to stop the truck from kind of uh, lifting up by itself or whatever you call that back bit, the dumpster bit. Um, and our last one is, oh, uh, whatever you call that thing, excavator? I don't know, I haven't watched enough Blippi. <laughs> Blippi teaches you all about these things, okay. Now, we also got that. It's kind of in the same series, so we'll keep him there. Now, uh, let's start off with the other names for them. Okay, it doesn't have names. I'm looking at the back of the box. It just says numbers, so you're going to have to forgive me for getting the names wrong. Okay, I just quickly checked uh, what the names are of all these things, too, because I don't want to be just <laughs> giving them made-up names and you guys getting angry at me in the comments. So, Bulldozer, of course, is this guy. Uh, backhoe is the dude with the uh, little kind of backwards behind crane thingy. Oh, other way. And then the other one is a dump truck. So there we go. We got the right names this time. So start off with the dump truck. Spin them around for you. Very nice. Now you probably noticed before that the back lifts up, which is nice. It's very cool. Just to get all the the rubbish, all the junk out of there, all the soil or whatever you have in there. Very nice, and then we got the um, bulldozer, and again the, the front kind of, I don't know what, what, what you call that thing, the front scoop or whatever, uh, that goes up and down, very cool, I like his treads, very nice, and then last one, backhoe, so let's lift up, oh he's got a little bit of rubber band holding uh, holding that in place. I'm gonna need scissors for that. It's kind of quite hard to get to. Uh, 
Oh, did I just break it? <laughs> okay, hold on. The oh man, it's really stuck on there. Many layers of rubber rubber bandery. Okay, now back on. There he is, good as new. So yeah, there we go. So it's got the <laughs> digger part. I don't know <laughs> the shovel part. Please help me in the comments. I think I need your help with all these names. And then the back digger thing, <laughs> very cool. Again, like the little bucket there goes up and forward or shovel goes back and forward. And then that thing goes there. Whoa, my, my names for these things are horrible. Honestly, watch. I should watch some more Blippi because yeah, he, he explains what all these vehicles are and what they do. Holy moly. Okay, anyway, so we got, uh, let's quickly recap. So today we have found the Transporter and GT7 and this is the rare GT7 because it's got the metallic stuff over it. There's a normal GT7 which is just kind of like orange uh, without the metallic stuff. Still the GT7. Okay, and we've also got the uh, dump truck, bulldozer and backhoe. And then if you can see in the background, let's get these guys out of the way. We also have the micro machines kind of play and go play set and storage case, however you want to use it. Uh, but yeah, we did really well today. So guys, if you like the video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like, whoa, way too close. Thumbs up like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, and, but guys, until I see you next time, have a great week. Take care of yourself and I will catch you later.